Hey man, real estate say shit. You already know what's going on. So we gotta talk about this situation with Slim Jimmy right now, man. This situation is super crazy. Basically, he's getting accused of domestic battery by the police, but his girlfriend is saying otherwise and stuff. And it was a whole thing where he ended up getting arrested in Miami. But before we get into that whole situation, I'm gonna need y'all to like, comment, subscribe, and let's run this shit up, man. So earlier yesterday night, on uh january 25th early the night of the 25th slash 24th sim jimmy was basically arrested for battery and allegedly attacking his girlfriend um tuesday morning in miami after allegedly attacking the mother of his child knocking down a door and pulling her hair extensions out in the process according to police the race from its star told law enforcement that the rapper first got pissed off after she questioned him about a woman he was following on Twitter. She went on to share that Slim left her home with a friend shortly after the argument, returned a short time later swimming like alcohol, added that when she attempted to move their sleeping child from his playpen to a bed, she Slim pulled her hair so hard her extensions were ripped from her scalp. The alleged victim also told police that she tried to record his outrage with her phone, which made him more pissed. He chased her down through their home, and then she ran in a room. He kicked down the door, but Slim kicked the... Um, after kicking down the door, ripped the phone away and threw it over a balcony to prevent her from posting the video on uh, the internet. Police have recovered the phone undamaged on a nearby street when they were called to the scene. Jimmy has yet to respond to the allegations. However, his girl basically posted on her Instagram that this like, situation that they're describing was all cap. That's crazy, man. Uh, she ends up saying, oh, wow, this is Cap. Dade County, y'all are wrong for this. I told you guys he did not hit me. Every officer you had in my face are wrong for this. No hands were put on anybody. I said it more than once. It was a loud argument and the police were called. You guys turned in nothing into something. It's our son's first birthday tomorrow. What's wrong with y'all? So basically, she's saying that, like, in this whole incident, there was nothing really that occurred like it was just a loud argument and the police were the ones that were or the neighbors were the ones that called the police and the police were the ones to make up this whole scene and like she wasn't even trying to get him arrested or anything i think um i'm not a hundred percent because i've been in situations not been in them but like i've seen I've, i'm not a hundred percent but i've seen situations in florida because i used to live there where um like neighbors would get into arguments and get into like domestic abuse not abuse but like domestic like situations like arguments and shit like that and one time in particular the police came they searched everyone but then they didn't even like arrest anyone so it's just kind of crazy how this time around the police arrested someone when i i guess there was like no evidence of actual assault or anything people just probably called the police because it was a nicer area where you can't be doing this type of rowdy ass shit in miami and like a more like upscale area of course if it's all white people they're gonna be calling the police miami surrounded by people it's super populated it's not like the type of place you could get into shit if you're out in the outskirts yeah but they're probably in the city so it's like anyone could hear that shit they probably called the police but i don't understand why the police are gonna arrest him and issue a statement saying all this if it's not even true if like where are they gonna get the extensions ripped out of her hair from that doesn't even make sense it, did she give that information at the scene or did the police just make that up like i feel like it's just not adding up here because it's like if it was cap why where would they get that detail from that's the only thing i don't get but i i'm not like i also could believe that they're definitely just arresting him even though there could have been no evidence and just because it was so loud and a lot of people called the police and said something maybe they felt like it was a need to arrest him or he was like disorderly or something like that so when they pulled up on the scene like it was like not looking good for him i'm not really 100 percent. there needs to be more details it's like definitely conflicting stories i don't know how you could come out and leave a police statement saying one thing and then say completely different unless the police are just making it up and there's no statement whatsoever which doesn't make any sense because it sounds like it was read directly off the statement 
like if they basically got it from a statement but i wouldn't be surprised man miami pd is known for like harassing rappers like look at the polo g situation like lately they've been known to be harassing rappers so i wouldn't be surprised if like this situation culminated in them wanting to harass the rapper too it mean i mean it could really go both ways and that's something that i 100 percent know just knowing the miami pd be like racist as fuck be on some weird shit at times so i wouldn't be surprised if it went either way it could be both she could just be covering for him because she just wants this incident to be just forgotten but at the same time he could have just be unjustly arrested for no reason when there was a loud argument and just in the area that they're in could have gotten people to call the police on them which i wouldn't like it's just so messed up though if that's the case then these blogs and all these fucking like tmz are really making a whole situation out of nothing much worse but i wouldn't be she's obviously not gonna press charges or anything so it's probably not gonna get any worse but hey man let me know what you think in the comments you think it's all a misunderstanding or you think there was an actual incident or some shit man make sure y'all like comment subscribe join the notification game if you aren't already real safe say shit you already know what the fuck going on peace